It's number two on Avicii Week. This one has a feature, Sandro Cavazza. Well, all of these songs have singing, so it's interesting that they don't put the feature on it. They didn't it, do that before. Yeah, it, they never. Yeah, I don't know. And then it started wasn't part of it. coming back out of it. Well, and even before this, like generally, it was weird that the producer would have like top line credits. Right, and not the singer. And not the singer, yeah. yeah. So it's, that's in it. <laughs> Flip the script. I'm the producer. You're the singer. Get out of here. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I know this song. Without you, part four? Well, I definitely don't know one, two, or three. <sighs> I'm going to have to think about it. Um, all right, yeah, this one was sent in by... Josephine Johnson. Johnson. said that we would always be without you i feel lost at sea through the darkness you'd hide with me like the wind we'd be wild and free you said you'd follow me anywhere but your eyes tell me who We've got our flying astronaut man here. It's a little CGI, huh? And, uh, ah, you know, at what point is it CGI? I know it's all computer generated, but at what point is it CGI versus, like, maybe this is, like, an Xbox 360 game or something, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's the same, same. I know it's the same, same, but it, it feels like it feels like CGI should, should be, like, the, oh, this is CGI to the point where, like, maybe you can't really tell. I feel like we should just do like video game graphics if it's uh if it's a little lower quality. Well, this is from six, six years, years ago. ago. What? Two thousand eighteen? Oh, maybe this is a posthumous. 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 Yeah. Posthumongous. Posthumous. Uh, yeah. Um, I must have Release. missed this entire era of Vici. I've never heard any of these songs. You missed every era of Vici, apparently, because <laughs> a lot of these songs are like twelve years old. Yeah, I, I guess I uh, missed the Vici train entirely. Dang. Well, no, no, no. I, I caught the first wave, but I don't know. Any you got, of these. you got first tickets, and then you got off. Yeah, I was like, I was the first stop. <laughs> yeah, you're like, man, I thought I knew. I, I didn't know. I mean, I yeah. mean, I watched the documentary. I thought I knew all. I thought I knew most of his jams. Dang, you know, you know all about him. You just don't know his music. <laughs> I know his original music. But yeah, that's true. Yeah, none of this. I mean, uh, this is the music he was writing. Dun, 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 dun. It's catchy as hell. It's good. Yeah, always is. From myself and the truth I fear My heart is beating, I can't see clear How I'm wishing that you were here
He really serves it up in that second he drop, does. huh? Mike, that's him. Who? He's the astronaut. Avicii, well, and he's leaving without. We have to go on without oh. him, and he's leaving. Oh, so is okay. I'm, I'm, th- I'm starting to think that I'm assuming the lyrics were written after, after his, he died, after his yeah. passing. So, because I, I, man, did I read somewhere that he had like 300 unfinished songs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's that's par for the course for producers. You just have a a vault full of stuff. Yeah, you're just making stuff all the time, and uh, I, I think a lot. I think they made an entire album off of music that he had written and produced and everything. And they probably just, I assume a lot of it is our lyrics about him. Yeah. Because I they're writing see, the I lyrics. That, Obviously yeah. he didn't, he wouldn't be the writing the lyrics. Man, you have to be so careful with stuff like that. Yeah. Like to go into someone who's passed, go into their hard drive. You have to really trust whatever producers you're handing it off to be like, okay, Here's his work. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. <laughs> yeah. Don't and and you know if it's if it's in a stage where like all the ideas were there, but like you need to make it present, you have to mix it and master it and do all these things. Like be very careful. You can't just like do them dirty. You know, like do them a disservice by releasing it. Like you have to make sure it's like all right. Did we did we make this? Is it better than how we found it? <laughs> Yeah. You know, is it more presentable? Would, you know, the people that know and love Avicii be okay with this? I, I bet they I bet they have certain people where they send it to be like, is this okay for us to release in, in this condition? Yeah, I forget how I forget how it worked. I think the trust started talking to people, like his family and stuff like that started talking to people about about the music that he had created. I want to say, and then they were giving it to people who he had already made music with before. I don't know if there was any notes of like, maybe he had ideas of people he would want to sing on it or collaborate with for these ideas. I don't know if that was the case, but you'd assume that you would have given it to people who worked with him before. And yeah, yeah, yeah. People that he trusted and and liked. Yeah. People that he, he sought out himself. I mean, I guarantee that there was at least a, a handful of songs that were in the works where like he had sent off a demo to some singers we're like, Hey, I, I would love to hear your voice on this. I, I guarantee there's a handful of that stuff. Cause yeah. like someone at his level, like he, he wasn't coming down the mountain yet. He was like, he was at the top still, you know? So someone at his level is operating at such a fast pace. Like there's always things in motion. Yeah. So I have to imagine a couple, but yeah, then, then you probably, are given access by the family to his hard drive and you just start going through and listening. That's gotta be crazy. That first that's, sit that's down. That's exactly like, what I was thinking. Like, okay, all right, we're going to listen to stuff that's never been heard by anyone except him. Yeah. That's a, that's a, an incredible experience. And then to be selected as one of the people to be like, all right, we're going to send, we're going to send you over this. This is his, you know, this is a song he created mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, he, we, we think that you would be good to help bring his, bring his vision to come to life. So, so he, here it is sent over and like downloading that out of the, out of your email or what, however it's sent to you. He's just like, okay, all right, let's, let's, let's hear this, I guess. And yeah. it, it's just, it's, I, because if you were really close with him, I imagine it'd be really hard just to listen to his music in general, but to listen to music that he made that you didn't hear yet. Yeah. That's like a whole nother level of intensity. It's like you're, it it's like listening to a voicemail you haven't heard from a, cer- a person close to you that passed that you haven't listened to yet, but they've already died. Yeah. Right. It, you know, it's, it's like the little bit of experiences you can have with them that are new that will, you know, never be experienced again. Because obviously when someone dies, you don't have new experiences with them mm-hmm. again. They're gone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And in this scenario, so it's, it's the illusion of having a new experience. Well, it is a new experience. Yeah, it is. It's bittersweet. But it's like a new experience that you can decide whether or not you want to have it or whether or not you're ready to have it. Because you yeah. know once that's over, it's gone. It's at your leisure. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like you you have only one opportunity to, even just as a fan listening to the songs, like, wow, I'm, I'm literally listening to like the last songs that we'll ever hear from him. Yeah. 
That's intense. The other, the other very important, like uh, factor to all this is that you have to be very careful with is who you let in because I don't know how it works when someone passes, but they release this music and it generates an insane amount of income. Yes. So now there's all this money on the table that you have to, that they must have all these contracts written up before anything gets released. So like, okay, any income goes to the family or goes to whoever, but you know, certain people are putting time and effort in. So they do get to recoup. And it, it's just weird because this business continues on after he's gone in his name and continues to generate, you know, most likely millions of dollars, which is a, a very strange concept, but that's just the reality of it. But so you have to be careful of who you're evolving because money make, changes people mm. and can influence things in weird ways that you wouldn't typically expect. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just just going through all the, the details of what it'd be like to to do that with a group of people. Yeah. Because, you know, it's not like his mom and dad or brothers and sisters are the ones going through. And producing it, at least. Right, right. I mean, so it's, it's maybe they people, listen to him if they want, but... All these people outside of the family doing all the... Putting all the effort in and work. So, I, I don't know. It's that's uh, it's a very interesting thing. Definitely. The I loved the change-up in that second drop, though. To go it back to the song. Sick. It was sick. It was sick. So, you got the first drop... More minimal, which is classic. Yeah. I love that deep sub that that runs that that does that little rundown. Yeah. Yeah. That's so nice. And then when it comes into the end. No, no, no. Let's hear it before the percussion comes in. Because you can really hear the synths. High synths are sick too. I know they, they remind me of like like I guess this kind of image like a a thin um, a thin stream yeah. of smoke They're shooting like, through there like thin pss, whispers pss, pss, pss. yeah like sharp whispers searing pss, pss, shooting through yeah oh man something thin that was very and cool. sharp about them yeah pss, pss, pss. that was very cool awesome sounds Oh, uh, always. All right, moving All right. on to my favorite part of the night. That is right. 